You know, for a lot of Team Canada fans, this guy's selection for the 1987 Canada Cup squad for our nation side was uh, not say controversial, but people said, well, maybe he deserves it. He's one of the, the better defensemen, Canadian defensemen in the NHL. Now, Doug Crossman uh, served with distinction with numerous teams, part of two of the most interesting trades of his generation involving Ben Wilson and also Ray, Ray Ferraro. But Crossman, again, uh, strong uh, on offense, strong on defense, a good character player, uh, tremendous uh, worker, and... Uh, you know, when you're taking 112th overall in a draft, you're either going to be a superstar or you're going to be uh, what they call an overachiever. I think it was both. Now, uh, Crossman was selected in the sixth round, 112th overall in the 79, 79 entry draft by the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, born June 30th, 1960, 6 190, a big drink of water. First game in the major province in 1977 with Stratroy of uh, Junior B side, where he had 41 points in 39 games. His uh, last season before being drafted was with Ottawa of the OMJHL, where he had put up 63 points in 67 games. But his last year of junior is still uh, record-breaking with the 67s. He had 116 points in 66 games, including 96 assists, 20 goals, and 13 points in the playoffs. Now, he broke under with Chicago in 81 uh, and also played the Runsey Cox in that uh, first season before putting up solid years with Chicago, Philadelphia, LA, New York, Hartford, Detroit, Tampa Bay, St. Louis. Now, just to recap a little bit, he was our, Ottawa's third pick in the 1977 OMJHL Midget Draft. He competed on his high school's baseball, basketball, and tennis teams as a multi-sport uh, athlete. Now, he made the Stanley Cup for Philadelphia in 85 and 87 and debuted in 1980 uh, for, Chicago, for Chicago when Quebec was visiting. Now, he, uh, he, broke, and, and, uh, he broke numerous records and established numerous uh, team highs, especially with Tampa Bay. He had the most points in one game uh, and most points in one game by a defenseman in um, a 1982, uh, 1992 game against, of all people, the Islanders. He also uh, had the most goals by the defenseman in one contest with that hat trick. Now, injuries were uh, and, and uh, tragedy were a big part of his early career. He missed part of the 83 season with a thumb injury, suffered from February 1983. Unfortunately, Crossman's mother also died during the 83 Stanley Cup playoffs, but Crossman decided not to miss any playoff games despite going home for a funeral. Very durable, he played 202 consecutive games for Philly between 84 and 87. The streak ended on December 2, 86. Now, he missed part of the, the 91 season with a foot injury, suffered during the Islanders November 6, 90 game. Uh, uh, versus Toronto, and with a leg injury suffered in Harford's February 12, 91 practice. Now, his rights was eventually sold by Detroit with Dennis Vial to Quebec on June 15, 92, but he never played a game uh, for Quebec because he was immediately left unprotected for the 1992 NHL expansion draft and was claimed by Tampa Bay on June 18, 92. Now, he also missed parts of the 94 season with another toe injury, it suffered during St. Louis' December 29th 93 game versus the Rangers, and with a knee injury, suffered during St. Louis' Jan January 13th 94 game, Edmonton. Like I said, he was selected for the 87 Stanley uh, Canner Cup as kind of their number six guy because he had uh, some experience with Team Canada, playing with them in 1980 at the World Juniors with the fifth place. Now, we're talking about awards and honors. He won the Turner Cup with Denver in 1995. He was OMJHL All-Star First Team in 1980 for Ottawa. Now, he also played on the IHL's regular season champion in Denver in that, uh, that classic 95 campaign. Now, he eventually became a coach. He was named Port Huron's head coach prior to the 98 season and remained there for the season. Now, he still, uh, his, his record has been broken, but he set the OHL single season record for assists by defense with 96 in 1980. Now, he eventually signed with Chicago as an unrestricted free agent on February 7, 96, where he was uh, very well regarded in the big city. Now, 
He also ran a hockey school in London during his off-season his playing days, and he continued running a school named Doug Crossman Hockey Camps after his retirement. Very active as well with charitable causes, uh, especially during his playing days, including work with the Sunshine Foundation for Sick Children and the Canadian Cancer Society. Now, we talked about the Ray Fiero Fiero trade for him, but Chicago also traded Crossman in an 84 second round pick, which was Scott Bellamy to fl- for the Flyers for Ben Wilson on June 8, 83. And of course, uh, shifting over in the Fiero uh, 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 deal. Now, uh, just to recap, Big to me, his biggest season, and this is my, uh, this is my, only my opinion, was 1990. We had 59 points for the honors, including 15 goals in 80 games. Now uh, again, the two Stanley Cup uh, runs uh, with the Flyers, which is a big part. One of the main reasons the Flyers made those finals, because you know. Uh, uh, Crossman was a solid uh, blue liner on both uh, both ends of the ice. Now he also scored uh, ten games, ten goals with the Kings in '89 before heading over to the Islanders and again moved over in the Ferraro deal uh, with Hartford. Didn't stay there long because he also ended up in Detroit. Uh, soon after, he played with uh, the Islanders, or the Whalers in Detroit in that very busy '91 season. Now. As he got older, his production uh, went down a little bit. Tampa Bay's inaugural season, he only had 29 points in 40 games before moving on to St. Louis, where he had 9 points in 19 games. Now, in the IHL, he played with Peoria and Denver and Chicago, and of course, the Baltimore Bandits of the AHL. Now, uh, at the Canada Cup, with that big Gretzky, Lemieux, Grand Fewer, Fewer Year, with all the role player players, he had one assist in eight games with four minutes and penalties, and I think he played a big factor in stopping defensively some of the big uh, Russian players in that three-game uh, series for the uh, title. But, uh, you know, when you're from Peterborough, you know, you got hockey in your veins, and I like Doug Crossman. If you're going to have Rick Green had a little bit more offense and kind of a little bit of Larry Robinson sometimes, a little bit of uh, Dennis Potvin, especially in his Islander years. Crossman was an overachiever because what you saw is what you get. He never drew attention to himself. Not exactly uh, what he called a dirty player. Would fight occasionally. I mean, you know, that happens in the NHL. But uh, those two Stanley Cup appearances with the Flyers, again, he was a big factor uh, in that. And, of course, Edmonton stopped, stopped him in that uh, Cup run. So final NHL totals, 464 points in 914 games, 105 goals. But the playoff totals really stand out for me, ladies and gentlemen. 51 points in 97 games, one of the better totals of a defenseman, playoff defenseman in the 1980s with, uh, with 12 goals, again, 39 assists in 97 contests. And But uh, Doug, again, one of the most underrated defensemen of his generation, and I really like his play, uh, especially when uh, some of the young players from Toronto uh, basically were trying to intimidate him, and Crossman said in published reports, I'm just here to play hockey, I'm not here to play mind games. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.